What's up, this is GM, and before I start, I want to tell you about TubeBuddy. In case you don't know, TubeBuddy is a free website that will help you manage and grow your YouTube channel. Thanks to them, some of my videos even show up as top results. Want to give them a try? Check the description below for the link. Today's product is Edifier's G2000 speakers. So in this box, I'm going to move it out of the way. We have the two speakers themselves. We've got a power cable. We have a aux cable. And then we have a USB to USB cable. We also have a manual in many different languages. However, the manual only has about two to three pages per language. So it doesn't really give that much info just how to control the product itself, which I'll go over today as well. All right, so I'll start by going over some general info, then showing how the sound quality is. And lastly, going into my thoughts on it. So the specs are that each speaker has about 8 watts of output power and a peak power of 16 watts each, giving a total of 32 watts. They're, they are 2.75 inch full range, backward mega bass port, 12 lighting effects which I will be showing later, Bluetooth, USB sound card, and aux input support. It has a movie, game, and music EQ settings. It'll work on really any device including smartphones, PlayStation, Xbox, PC, TV, etc. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you the buttons on the speaker and just tell you what they do. So let me go and find, all right, so it's this speaker right here. Go and zoom in a bit too as well so you can get a better look at it. Alrighty, so the buttons we have here are this top one right here, which if you press, it switches input, input mode. And then if you double press, it disconnects the Bluetooth. And if you press and hold it, it pretty much turns on the power or turns it off. Next, we have a little switch right here. You can push up and down. And if you slide it up, the volume goes up. Slide it down, the volume goes down. Then underneath, we have another button. And if you press this, it switches between the different EQ modes, music, game, and movie. All right, so I went ahead and plugged it in. It might be a little hard to see the speakers, but I had to do this so that the lighting effect it uh, shows up as the true color instead of just showing up as plain white. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is, is go through the different lighting modes that I explained before. Just to show you though, the lighting does come off of the sides, both inside and outside, and then on the back as well. So it kind of projects the light backward and outward, which is really nice to look at. So now I'll go ahead and switch between them. So first we have light blue. Now we have red. Game mode. Now we have green. Now we have a dark blue, we have more of a yellowish green, and then this is where we start going through cycling mode. So first we have a blue breathing mode, now we have a red breathing mode, so I'll let it play for a little bit. Now we have a green breathing mode, now we have a purple breathing mode. Or pink it's kind of in between there all right so now it's going to breathe between different colors so as you can see it went from red to orange I'll let it breathe through a few more colors just so you can get an idea of how it looks alrighty so now I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to the next one and now this one is more of a flow so it's gonna tr uh, gradually transition between the different colors which personally I like this because it matches my keyboard and my um, Alienware because I use the exact same lighting effect on both of those so it matches perfectly with that and now it will turn off and then once more to turn it back on. Alright so I went ahead and paired the speakers to my phone and what I'm going to do now is I've maxed out the volume on the speakers themselves by using the lever and now I'm going to keep the volume at half on my phone and I will play a little audio from one of my videos and I will gradually increase the volume one tick at a time and every time I do I will say now and the reason I do this is because my camera will adjust for the volume so it won't sound like the volume's increasing however if I keep saying now as I do it at the same volume level or around the same you'll hear my voice gradually drown out and that should give you an idea of how loud these speakers get and I'm just gonna go ahead and say it's already really loud at only half volume so you might not even hear me say now the first time but we'll go ahead and see how it goes so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing this so I'm just going to be screaming real quick, so I'm yelling pretty loud, and I'm going to start now. GM, and before I start, so I want to tell you now? about TubeBuddy. 
In case you don't know, TubeBuddy is a free website that will help you manage and grow your YouTube channel. Thanks to them, some of my videos even show up as top results. Want to give them a try? Check the description below for the link. Alright, so that volume got so loud that I couldn't even hear myself, and I'm pretty sure my neighbors might have just heard that too. So, yeah, these speakers get extremely, extremely loud. Um, they're perfect for indoor use. I feel like volume-wise, you're going to get exactly what you're paying for with these speakers, just because they are so loud, and honestly, they're better than a lot of speakers I've reviewed. Of course, it is wired, so you're going to have to deal with that compared to a Bluetooth speaker that isn't wired. Um, however, again, volume level is a very big plus on this. So I'm just going to go and give my final thoughts on it. Personally, I love these for a gaming setup. As I mentioned, the colors match so well with my mechanical keyboard, plus my mouse, plus my key, uh, keypad. So I have a nice little gaming keypad that also has lights that go around the keypad. And then my Alienware also has lighting effects all around the edges of it. So it just kind of completes the overall look of my gaming setup. And I really like the various connectivity options, and the sound quality is just great with a really good bass. I was surprised how good the quality really is and that you know when you usually hit a max volume on speakers or headphones sometimes it makes a very distortioned sound. These actually didn't do that and I was very surprised. Uh, I also did not have any issues with audio that had to do with lag or latency between video and audio. When I used it with some of the connection options as well as with YouTube, Hulu and a couple other streaming platforms just to be sure. The, the peak volume is perfect for pretty much anyone since, like I said, it is an indoor speaker. The design is top notch as well, and it really doesn't take up too much room, which is also a big plus. Only thing I might have wanted was a slightly longer power cord, but I really don't think it's that much of an issue for most people. And overall, I just think these are a must have for anyone who needs a really nice indoor speaker setup. All right, that's it for this video. Link to this product is in the description below. If you found the video helpful, I'd love it if you could leave a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave a comment below as well. Thank you for watching.